Greetings and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be explaining PBR in the simplest way that I am able to. PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering. It is a method of shading in computer graphics which aims to stimulate the physical behavior of a light beam and the light beam's interaction with materials to achieve photoreal visuals. Let's go further. It's a clever way of making pictures of things, textures, on a computer look like they do in the physical world. Think of an artist. There is a blank piece of paper. And the artists will use techniques such as shading, darkening, perception, and having the pencil or whatever medium they're using to demonstrate where the light would hit on that object, making the art that is drawn on the piece of paper be more alive, making it more 3D. That's basically what PBR is doing, but it's telling the computer how to do it. It's telling the computer how to shade, how to darken, how to extract the light from the environment, use that light, intertwine that light into the object to make it more 3D realistic. That's basically the gist of PBR. However, I will explain some more. Physically based rendering. The rendering is based on physical, as in the physical world. It helps the computer understand how light should bounce off different materials, like shiny metal or rough wood to make them look real and not like a cartoon. Here are some examples. Rough wood. Think of a wooden table. It's not smooth like glass. It has tiny bumps and grooves. PBR helps the computer show these details so the table looks like real wood with all the textures. Glass. Look at a glass of water. Light passes through the glass and bends, making the water look different from the outside of the glass, looking inward. PBR helps the computer show how the light bends and reflects, making the glass and water look real. Shiny metal. Imagine a shiny metal spoon. When light hits it, you will see bright spots where the light reflects directly and darker areas where it doesn't. PBR helps the computer show how these reflections accurately making the spoon look like real metal. So basically, PBR, physically based rendering, is giving the computer information through algorithms on how to make the textures on objects look like it would in the physical world. Uh-oh, Wilson has a question. What is your question, Wilson? What type of maps? How many maps does PBR use to tell the computer what to do? Oh, what types of maps does PBR use? Well, there are several, actually. Let's go over them. In PBR, there are several types of maps that help create realistic and visually compelling textures. The diffuse map, or the albedo, which represents the base color of a material, influencing its overall appearance and visual fidelity. Normal simulates surface details and irregularities, enhancing the level of detail in rendered scenes. Roughness. A roughness map 
controls the sharpness of reflections, contributing to the portrayal of material surfaces. Metalness, it determines the metallic properties of a material, influencing its re reflectivity and appearance. Specular, describes the variation in reflectivity based on light direction and viewing angle, contributing to the authenticity of rendered scenes. Think of spectacular. What is spectacular? Like lights and, and colors. It's all spectacular, right? And lights and colored lights, as with all lights, they reflect. You shine a light on something, that light is going to bounce off that thing, right? And depending on the light direction and the viewing angle, builds up the rendered scene. Height. A height map used for deforming the actual mesh, particularly for surfaces like ground or cliffs. Opacity determines the transparency of materials affecting their visual appearance. So if it's opaque, it's not transparency. It's like you can't see through it. Ambient occlusion influences the shading and the shadowing of materials, adding depth to rendered visuals. Refraction affects how light passes through materials, contributing to their visual portrayal. And the last type of map, emissive, controls the emission of light from materials, influencing their visual impact. So emissive, it controls the how the light is emitted, dispersed from the materials, whether the light is bouncing off the materials, but it, it controls the light that is emitted. Now, these maps play a crucial role in achieving the realistic look that everybody wants and giving you that visually compelling rendering and allowing for the accurate portrayal of materials' responses to light and their interactions with the environment. So you have to remember, physically based rendering, PBR, it will tell the computer through, through these maps and other some technical stuff, I'm not gonna get into it, tells the computer using the map information how to interact with the environment which is the object and how the object with the maps on it interacts with the overall scene again the environment if you have lights coming from street lights and there's a car in the road and you want to be able to see how the light bounces onto the car, where it reflects, where the dark, where the dark spots are, the shading, you know, the metalness of the car, all of this stuff. So it's bringing, so PBR brings to life from the computer, second life. And there you have it, folks. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, and uh, I will see you. What, Wilson? Well, th th I answered your question. No, I'm not going to ask you if you need anything. I'm moving on. I'll see you in the next video because people get upset if the videos of explaining things that are difficult are too long. Uh -huh. Alrighty then. See you in the next video. Bye.